Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to show you how to collect Microsoft form responses using Power Automate, and then transfer them to different locations to use within Power Automate. If you would like to jump ahead to just the Power Automate section, jump ahead to 225 in the video. This is one of the most common things you need to know how to do when learning Power Automate, as many times, we start with user inputs from a form, to start some approval process, or start some other process. Let's start with the form creation. Where do we create our forms from? Well, if you want the form to be accessible by other people that you collaborate with, we'd recommend that you create it from a shared location, like a Microsoft Team or a SharePoint site. If you want to be the only person with the ability to edit the form, then you should create the form from your own account and directly within the forms application from the Office 365 homepage. In this case, we're going to be creating a form from a SharePoint site by being within a document library, and then by selecting the new drop-down, and then by choosing Forms. Name the form, and then choose Create. In this case, we're going to be creating a request form for accessing different resources. From a Microsoft team, you can select the Add a Tab option, and then choose the Forms app. From there, you can create a shared form. Once you're within your form, we have to fill it with questions that we would like to collect. You can add new user questions by choosing the Add New option, choosing a question type, and then by inserting the question. When you're collecting user inputs from a form, we'd recommend staying away from the Likert Scale option for doing this sort of automation. We've added three questions. What is your name? What is your email? And what resources do you need access to? You can add as many questions as you would like. The process would just extend itself. Now that we have our form to click user responses to, we want to collect them, so we'll select Collect Responses, where you can send a link, email the form, send a QR code to the form, and embed it within a website. Now, we have our form, and we want to keep that open. Let's learn to collect the responses using Power Automate. We'll keep the tab open, and choose the App Launcher. Then we'll open Power Automate in a new tab. We'll head to the Create option and the flow type that we'll be creating is an automated cloud flow, which runs as soon as a certain action takes place. When creating an automated flow, we are looking for a trigger, something that will start the flow. We'll give our flow a name, and below, we can see a list of flow triggers. The one that we're looking for is right here, when a new response is submitted within Microsoft Forms. We'll select that option, and then choose Create. Our flow is already half created for us. The flow is currently looking for a form to be submitted by a user. We just have to tell it what ID of form it should be tracking. You can choose the drop down and choose your form, but if it's not there, we have to find the ID. The ID of all forms is located within the URL of it. Back within our form page, we can copy all the text after the form ID equals portion. Copy that and we can simply paste it within the form ID field within the flow creation. Just make sure that you scroll all the way down and choose enter custom value first, or else it won't work. Perfect, our flow is tracking our form. Now we just have to collect the responses. Choose the new step option and search for forms. Then from the results, select get response details. We again have to fill in the form ID by choosing the drop down, scrolling down, choosing custom value, and then pasting that ID. For the response ID, we'll first select that field, and we'll see the dynamic content window appear. Dynamic content are fields that are available to use within the flow, which will change with each run of the flow. In this case, we'll choose response ID, as every time someone submits the form, the ID of that response is going to change. Now, our flow will collect all the responses, and the steps we add on afterwards are up to us. We can send the information to anywhere that we would like using Power Automate. We can send it to a list, an email, a team. We can run conditional statements on the responses or any other option. The most important thing that we learned is that we now have the ability to send form responses anywhere that we would like. Let's do something that we commonly see, which is sending responses to a team's channel for a group of people to view, and in this case, decide upon a set of actions afterwards. Remember that you can simply select the new step option and choose an action. 
You can create a list item using the create item action, send an email using the send an email v2 action, and any other action. In our case, we're going to search for message, as we're going to post a message in a chat or channel. We'll select that option of post a message in a chat or channel. Now we just need to fill in the different fields of this specific action. We have to choose where we want to post a message. Is it as the Flowbot or ourselves? In this case, we'll choose Flowbot. And then we can choose if we want to post it in a channel, a chat, or a group chat. In this case, we'll choose the channel option. We'll see the other fields load. We can load it into any team of our choosing. I'll choose this one. Then I'll choose an appropriate channel. Finally, we can format the message that will be automatically sent to the channel. The form that we created was an information request form, and the users of this channel are going to provide that information to the users that request it. As we select the message field, we can manually input our message, and we can even use that dynamic content, which changes with each run, to alter every message that runs from this flow. I can start with the name of the sender, and using the dynamic content, the fields will change with each run. This looks nice, I think. Finally, to save the flow, select Save. Now it's time to test the flow. You always want to test your flows before bringing them to production, or in this case, setting the form to people or making it available for others to fill in. To test this flow, all we need to do is complete the trigger action, which is filling in the form. We'll head to the form, and choose the preview option. We'll fill in the fields, and finally, choose submit. That should kick off our flow. When we look at the channel, we can see the message has automatically been pushed. What a great little flow. If you want to check the flow runs, edit the flow, or even turn it off, navigate to the flow app and choose my flows. Select the flow that you want to access. You'll see the 28 day run history. You can edit the flow, share it, turn it off, and even delete it. You can also give other people access under the owner section if you want them to be able to edit the flow. So that is how you can collect form responses using Power Automate to then push them anywhere that you would like. This is a foundational practice within Power Automate and one that you'll use frequently if you're tasked with creating flows. We're going to be creating more flow content and would love to hear your suggestions on content or flows that you would like to see. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.